Hello, uh, welcome back to GP Nail Art. Jessica here. So I have <laughs> a bunch of stuff to talk about uh, today. Um, so first and foremost, um, in regards to my skin, um, everything is clearing up quite nicely. It hardly even looks like I've had anything uh, wrong. I've got like maybe a little bit of skin discoloration here and there, but no more itchiness. My last day of medicine was yesterday. Um, I'm planning on this video being up the same day that I'm recording it. So if you're watching it the same day that it's been uploaded, that is, um, today is Wednesday. Um, so I am hoping that, uh, you know, you're seeing it the, the same day, but in any case, um, my last day of medicine was yesterday. Um, and I didn't have any itchiness today. Like I said, that my skin is still clearing up. Everything is going quite nicely. So I'm very happy with that. I'm going to just, you know, continue for the time being to stay away from, um, you know, any nail products that can possibly have direct contact with my skin. Mostly, you know, the dip powders. If I want to use gels, I'll continue to wear the gloves. So I have kind of a lot <laughs> that I want to kind of talk about. Um, so first, well, let's see. All right. First, let's get this out of the way. Um, I did go and get something from, this is from Amazon. And it is kind of like a desk desk pad or like a giant mouse pad kind of situation. And it was only like 10 bucks. Sorry for all the noise. So I've been dying to see what this looks like. But, you know, for 10 bucks, I figured if, you know, if I, it'll serve its purpose for now until I can get something that I like better if I don't like it. Um, but, you know, I think it'll work out pretty good. Okay, so. Well, that's quite pretty. So I'm going to have to. So I'm probably going to have to kind of let it. Oh, I like this. <laughs> let it kind of flatten out a little bit but it kind of fits quite nicely it's about 14 inches wide so the edge of my desk or my table is like literally like right here um, it just goes a little bit further so this is about 14 inches and I think it was 30 inches long so I think you know when I when I zoom in a little bit then you can kind of only see this background and I think it looks kind of nice. Let me know what you think. I like it. I think because it's a different material on the top, it'll be easier to deal with the money too. So that's out of the way. <laughs> um, second, I have been uh, in my chit chat video that I posted on September 6th. Um, where I was talking about, you know, the changes to the channel and kind of the direction and everything. I, um, and I think maybe in a video after that, I have mentioned possibly changing the name of the channel. Um, cause right now it's GP nail art. That's kind of how you all know me. Um, I explained what the GP means and you know, that is kind of special to me. Um, but, um, I think GP nail art kind of indicates that this channel is just about nails, doing nails, and that's not going to be the case any longer. So I was thinking and I kind of asked you guys for suggestions. I did get a couple suggestions. Um, Erica from Black and Blue suggested something like Jessica's Journey, um, something like that. I I do always, you know, anytime that I'm looking for something like that, I did go on to YouTube and just do a search to see if there were any channel names. There are two already. <laughs> so I don't want to kind of, um, you know, step on toes uh, or anything like that. So I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to stay away from, from that. Um, also, like, you know, there's already some channels like... Um, you know, budget with Jessica and, you know, different 
different things that already kind of have the name Budget and Jessica in the name. And I also kind of didn't want to necessarily have just the word budget um, or, you know, something like that because it's not, this channel's not also going to be only about budgeting. I am still going to include some nail related content. Um, it's just going to be scaled back. So, um, my, my thought or one a name that I thought and, and have been thinking about, um, I really would like to keep um, the GP part because that is so special to me, um, the meaning behind it. Um, so I was thinking, um, GP's odds and ends. I kind of like the way it sounds. I like that I'm still gonna, I would still have the GP. Um, and I like that odds and ends kind of indicates that it really could be about anything. I'm not kind of stuck in one category or another in regards to like nail content or budgeting content, you know, I can really kind of show more or less whatever it is that is going on in my life at the time. So let me know what you think of that and, and leave a comment for me down below on your thoughts in regards to that being a name change. If I get some, you know, positive feedback uh, on that, I'll probably start changing um, you know, like the logo and the, the, um, channel pictures and, and the name and things like that over the, the next, you know, week or two. So, all right. So that's out of the way. Um, also on September 6th, if you watched all the way through to the end of that video, I had mentioned in that video that this, um, that on the sixth, that was my two year channel anniversary channel birthday, however you want to call it. Um, but I've had the channel for two years as of September 6th. And at the very end of that video, I stated that I was going to, that I was doing a giveaway in honor of your support of my channel over the past two years. Cause I truly appreciate all of your support. So I am going to insert a clip here that shows the winner. So congratulations to the winner. Um, please contact me within the week. I'll give you a full seven days uh, from today. I don't know where that came from, that rolling of the heart that just popped out. Anyway, I'll give you seven days from today. Please contact me at um, either gpnailart.com. I will keep that email um, open for a little while. I'll probably change it, you know, to match the channel name um, in the future, but I'll keep that for the time being. Or on Instagram, um, I'm currently still GP Nail Art on Instagram, so you can DM me there as well, and um, we can get everything, uh, you know, situated so I can get the um, the product sent out to you. So congratulations again. Uh, every Wednesday before I get paid, I can see what my paycheck is going to be on that Friday. So I did get that information uh, today, and... Um, so I just kind of wanted to go through my Clever Fox um, budget planner a little bit and, um, you know, kind of give you a breakdown of, of what I kind of have going on. So as I said in like previously, I was kind of using this expense tracker for what was coming, only what was coming out of my um, online bank account. It's too redundant. I'm already putting that information in my checking account. So there's no point in doing that twice. 
Um, so what I've kind of decided for September is to kind of have a page for each, um, I guess each binder or like specific things. So this is going to be my wallet and I'm breaking it down by paycheck. So for instance, and let me zoom you in a little. So for instance, you can see here that uh, for my September 2nd paycheck, these are the categories that I have in my wallet. Um, this was the, like, what was, this is what I was rolling over from my previous August paychecks. This is the amount that I added um, from my September 2nd paycheck, and this is what I was, um, like, starting, or ending with ending with starting with, I don't know. This is what my, my total was, you know, before I started spending any of it, let's say. So I just kind of went in and wrote down for the following paycheck that I'll be getting. I didn't want to do it on a weekly basis because I kind of felt like that would be a little bit too much to keep track of. So I decided to do it by, to correspond with my pay schedule. Um, so I'm getting paid again on the 16th. So this is kind of where my starting balance would be. So it's the same numbers here. So this is, um, you know, before I kind of spent anything, I'm going to add and subtract. Well, I'll subtract what I've spent from September 2nd until now. I'll put what I'm going to be adding in from my September 16th paycheck, and then that will be my new balance. Hopefully that makes sense. It makes sense in my brain. <laughs> So I apologize. So I just kind of did the same things for my, um, this is my online binder. This is probably one where it's going to be a little bit more, um, like adding and, and, and subtracting information. Well, probably this and my wallet is where you'll see the most changes, um, because there's always something being taken out. You know, I'm, I'm spending money in my wallet and things like that. So, um, you know, there's just things like this. This is probably where you'll see the least amount of change in regards to money being deducted. Um, this probably is more, more, I'm hoping more so going to be money added. Um, so there are a few things, you know, changes that will be coming, uh, up, but this is kind of where I ended when I stuffed for my September 2nd. I didn't kind of start, um, for the September 16th yet. So I'll, I'll go and probably fill those later on. And then I just have, um, some of the debts that I'm trying to pay off. So I pay my mom for money that she gave me during my move and then whatever debt it is that I'm focusing on currently. So, okay. Now we have my budget breakdown. <laughs> so, um, I'm not going to fill in like the bank in the envelope Pretty much what I do here is, you know, I, I kind of take a look at the amount that is in my bank account currently. So that's where all of my online bills are being paid from. And then I will take a look at what is in my online binder here and um, see how much of a difference. I typically want to see a difference of $100 because that is what my buffer is. Um, so... $100, uh, meaning that I have an extra $100 in my bank versus my envelopes. Um, and if I don't, um, if I dipped into my buffer for any reason, then I'm going to replenish that with this paycheck. So I'm not quite sure just yet what that, um, will be. Um, but my income currently for this September 16th paycheck, uh, and I'm going to round it down. Um, so like I got my paycheck will be one, $1,557 and 33 cents. I'm not going to count the 33 cents. Um, it's just going to be the 1,557. Um, the other, um, blessing that I got as well was from uh, Budgeting April. She was doing a giveaway on her channel um, where she was giving away $20 through a cash app. Um, 
and that is supposed to hit my bank account this week as well so I'm going to add that in um, as well so I can you know add that into any of my um, you know wherever I want to put it I guess <laughs> um, so um, let me let me I'm gonna pause for a second so I can take a look and see what I need to add in regards to a buffer so then I can go through the rest of um, this upcoming paycheck okay so um, in review of what is in my um, binder for my online bills um, it's about 435 and in my bank I'm at about 490 so that's a $55 difference which means that I did um, dip into my buffer a little bit um, that's probably my biggest struggle right now um, in is regard <laughs> in regards to like online shopping um, now in re in regards to what happened over the last two weeks um, I did go to Kohl's and I did um, you know buy uh, some clothes um, but that's kind of you know it wasn't just because I wanted to it is a necessity at this point because um, I'd moved from Florida in April and I have no winter clothes to speak of um, so I did buy you know a couple of sweaters you know a couple of um, you know um, thicker like pants that I can wear while I'm working since I work from home I can kind of wear comfy pants but I you know I just have shorts and like sleeveless shirts right now so I really have no winter clothes to speak up so I to speak of so I really need to kind of build up my winter wardrobe so that's um, you know kind of where I ended up dipping into my my buffer so um, I want to, you know, bring that back up to a $100 buffer for this paycheck. So we're going to add uh, $45. Um, the other thing that I like to do, because Connecticut does have um, property tax, and I don't know what my taxes are going to end up being when we file our returns, um, in the beginning of the year um, so I am pulling out 5% of my income um, to go towards taxes so I'm going to take the 15 um, 1557 plus the 20 that I won from the giveaway that gives me 1577 and then minus out the 5% that's going to be $79 that I'll be putting into my tax envelope. So again, um, so if I take the, so this is 1577, if I take that and minus my buffer of $45, that's 1532 minus the 79 for the taxes, that will, I will pull out that in cash for the time being. My total to stuff is going to be 1453. So I did kind of go through, um, like I said, I didn't fill out the, um, the other pages where I, you know, my, my balance is going into the September 16th. I'll do that off camera because I don't want this video to be super, super long. Um, but for this bill, I'm going to focus on, um, finishing off because I do split some of these um, bills so my storage unit is about 184 ish um, so I'm going to um, like fully fund that with the next $92 um, Geico I am switching over to paying it six months at a time um, I forgot that I already had enough for my September payment and I didn't need to actually um, stuff that $41 um, into this envelope because my October payment is going to be the six month payment. Um, so that's, I have fully funded um, here. So going forward, I won't be writing this category here at all. For my cell phone, I'm going to um, finish that off with $40. Credit cards is the only one I don't split. Um, I kind of found that I ended up having like too much money because like my my payments would be different than I thought that they were going to be because some of them are variable based on what my balance is it's not always just a straight 
like 20 or $30. Um, so I did go ahead and schedule my um, payments. So this is going, these are the, going to be the payments that carry me from September 16th through September 29th until I get paid again on the 30th. So that is a total of $151.55. So I'm going to stuff 152 and then the net credit, that's always 54. Um, online shopping, that's kind of a pain point for me. Not a pain point, I mean, I think that's probably the area that I struggle with most um, because it's just so too easy to kind of just buy something on Amazon, like, oh, I, I need the desk pad or I want the desk pad, so let's just go ahead and buy it. And then it just adds up quickly, you know, if you're not really keeping an eye on it. So this is something I really need to kind of focus on and holding myself accountable um, in regards to only using what it is that I am budgeting for myself. So last time I did 150 and I'm glad that I did that because pretty much most of that went towards my Kohl's purchase. I did go over that a little bit, but also the overpayment that I put in Geico helped with that as well. But um, I'm going to try to really, you know, focus on not using this unless I need to right now because I do want to focus on debt. Um, so I'm only going to put in uh, 100 from this paycheck for the online shopping. Um, for gas, um, I want to cap that at 100. Um, I have been letting like my save as you go feature in my bank. They'll transfer over like a dollar or two from whatever you've spent during the day if uh, there's been any transactions and they'll transfer that over to kind of help you beef up your savings. So I've been categorizing that for gas. I'm up to $95 um, as of today. Um, so I'm just going to add $5 so we can have that list as fully funded for the time being until I need to get gas again because I really don't get gas off. <laughs> I, I think I'm still at like the last time I got gas <laughs> was still in July I think. <gasps> I don't even, oh my god. Yeah, I didn't even get gas in August. I didn't get gas in August, and I haven't gotten gas so far in September. The last time I got gas was July 22nd. <laughs> I work from home. I do drive my car, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I drive at least me, at least once a week, but everything is so close um, to me, so I'm really not using that much gas. So I'm going to give that an extra $5. Um, I'm also going to put in here a new category, um, which is going to be for my Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm just going to put that in here. Um, I'm going to start that off as five, and then my save as you go transfers from my checking account. Um, I'm going to let that start to fund my Dunkin' Donuts. So I Maybe we'll go and get Dunkin' Donuts twice a month, maybe three times a month. Um, and I'm and it's you know a couple dollars, but I have a gift card that gets auto reloaded, so I keep forgetting to kind of factor that into my budget for when it gets auto reloaded. So if I I think it's if I fall below ten dollars, it'll auto reload thirty, uh, and that will last me a couple months. So. I just kind of want to factor that into my budget going forward. So let me go ahead and add this up. So we are at $448 that is for my online bills. My next category here is subscriptions. There are also quite a lot of changes going on here. Um, I still have OnStar. I still have Sirius. I have canceled my Cascade Colorworks subscription. Um, so, and this is for um, a YouTube subscription. Um, so I, I'm no longer going to be funding for um, the Cascade Colorworks. Um, I just, I don't want to spend the money on something that I'm not 
planning on using for the foreseeable future. Um, it just doesn't make sense. Um, so I do have a YouTube subscription. And then um, I was also f starting to fund for Disney Plus. Um, I have canceled that subscription as well. It was about $21 and change. Um, so it was Disney, Hulu, and ESPN. However, I talked to um, my family. The only part of that subscription that we're using is Hulu. Um, so I'm going to, I, I did cancel that. It's going to cancel on September 27th. And then as of September 27th, I'm going to start a yearly plan with Hulu. So that is going to transfer to my annual um, payments. So for subscriptions, I think I have just my YouTube subscription. Let's see from the 16th we're getting rid of Cascade Colorworks. Um, the only one would be my YouTube um, subscription. I still have the $25 in this category from the Cascade Colorworks. And since that didn't come out, um, I only need to fund this with five. And then my dinners, this is HelloFresh. Um, let me know if anybody wants to try HelloFresh. They give me um, codes and things like that or emails that I can send for people to get either a free box or I think it's like $100 or $150 off of their subscription if they're starting up for the first time. Um, so I can certainly send that out to somebody if you um, want to try it out. But um, typically this is the same as credit cards, I will fund this for the upcoming dinners until September 30th. So I'll have two of them. Those are going to be about $58 each, so $116. So my total here will be $121. Okay, so my... Let me zoom you out just a little so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing here. So my um, so my to I have like my online total here. So we have my $448 from my online bills plus my $121 from my subscriptions. And that's a total of 569. Yep, 569. Okay, so if we minus, we got our starting balance of the 1453, our total to, to stuff, minus the 569. That gives me $884 to pull out in cash. Um, not including what I'm going to pull out for the taxes. So that it'll, it'll end up being, um, um, with the taxes, 963. I just don't really count that in here because it's like redundant. Um, okay. So, so for, um, so for my wallet, <laughs> um, currently, um, I think in the future, I kind of want to start a binder for kind of the fun stuff I like to do throughout the year. So, um, my family and I, we like to go, um, to wineries and, you know, kind of do, um, tastings or, um, you know, pick up a bottle of wine if there's something that we really like, um, you know, just kind of, you know, spend time together, you know, um, a lot of times they'll have like pavilions and tents, uh, things like that. Um, there's a lot of county fairs that go on um, in the area. So actually on Saturday, we're going to be going to the Big E, um, which is held in Massachusetts. So it's like a huge multi-state kind of um, fair. So um, because I don't have like other money kind of set aside, I'm going to be using what I stuff into my wallet. So I kind of went through my wallet earlier today to kind of see what I have in there already and what I may need for not only this weekend with the Big E, I think we're also going to be going to a wine, we're going to the Big E on Friday, and then we're going to, I think, a winery 
um, on Saturday. So I have a lot of things coming up. Um, so I'm going to be using the money from probably dining, entertainment, and maybe shopping for the different things that I'll be doing over the weekend. And then this also kind of needs to carry me into until I get paid again on September 30th. So for dining, I think what I would like um, to stuff in there is 150. Um, groceries, I do already have some money in there, so that's going to roll over. I'm going to add 40. Um, entertainment has a little bit of money, but I'm going to add 100. Um, shopping, um, shopping, I was going to put 20, but I think I may need to do more. Um, yeah, I've only got $10 in there right now. Um, you know, if there's anything that I want to buy while we're at the Big E or at the winery or things like that, I kind of want to, you know, have that money available. I don't want to dip into other areas. Um, for beauty, so that's going to be like when I get my hair done, um, I'm going to add 20. I'm going to come back to shopping. Um, for the sinking funds for annual payments. I'm going to put um, 50 in there this time. So I'm putting a little bit extra because as of September 27th, I want to do the yearly subscription for Hulu. So I'm going to pull that money from here. Um, car insurance currently is fully funded. When I was looking at my payment information, so I'm not going to put anything in there at all this time. Um, when I was looking at the payment information, um, my September payment is, is already stuffed in my online binder, so that's already in my bank account. But because I'm not paying monthly any longer, um, I, I'm not, they're not including all sorts of like service fees um, when you're doing a monthly payment. So I was saving up as if it was going to be like I added up what my month, I took my monthly payment and times to buy six, basically. So that came out to about $456. So that's what I was stuffing my car insurance for. Um, sorry for the noise. Um, when I looked at what my October 15th payment is going to be, it's actually only going to be $385. So I'm considering this fully funded for the time being. And I'm actually going to have extra money in there. So I probably won't need to stuff this until the end of October because I pretty much have like what my first like payment, like what I would stuff for October is pretty much almost taken care of. So this I probably won't need to stuff for, for a while. Um, car maintenance, I, I don't really use that very much. I have a newer car. So this is really would just be for like oil change or, um, oil change or car wash, um, something like that. I, I have a decent amount in there right now, so I'm not going to, um, stuff that at the moment. Um, gifts, I want to, eventually I want to like have a separate envelope for Christmas, um, and have this just for like birthdays and anniversaries. But I'm going to use this um, through the end of this year. So this is going to be including Christmas. I'm going to add 50 there. Um, emergency and saving, I have, I think, about 120 in there right now. I think I'm going to um, not stuff for these, for this particular paycheck. I'll probably do that on my bonus um, paycheck here, like my extra paycheck that I'll be getting at the end of the month. Um, vacation, I want to put in a hundred. My goal is to have about $400 in there before we go on our trip in the middle of October. And I have about 200 in there right now. So that will be a good amount to add. I'm going to do 10 for medical. Um, with what was going on with my skin, I did have a virtual appointment. Um, I found so far that I don't have to pay anything for the virtual appointment, which is really, really nice, but I did have to pay for the subscription. It was only like $3 or $2 and change, but I just kind of want to restuff that. And I also kind, I also 
I'll know more in October when my company goes through open enrollment where I can change my plan, but I'm probably going to need to switch to a plan that has a deductible that I would have to pay first, so I want to prepare for that. Um, minimum here, this is just um, any minimum payments from previous debts that I have paid off. I'm going to continue to add to that total. So my previous, um, I my tax bill that I paid off, it was $32 a month. So I'm splitting that between um, paychecks as 16. So no matter what, I'll have 16 extra dollars or 32 by the end of the month to pay. Um, so when I pay off the, um, the net credit, that's about $108 a month. I'm going to add that to the 32 and that will be my new minimum payment for the month to kind of help pay off faster. And that's not including anything left over for, um, for other debt. Uh, for my other debt, for my extra debt payment, rather. So let me just add a couple of things up here so I can see where I am at. Okay, so with everything that I've added up here um, so far, I have $348. Um, I'm going to put um, 25 towards what I owe my mom, and I'll do the, the next... I give her a hundred dollars a month, so I already have fifty in there. I'll do the, um, I'll finish that off with the next two paychecks, because um, I usually pay her on the first of the month. So I'll do twenty-five this time. Um, so, hmm, I'm gonna do. I mean, I have a hundred in online shopping, so I can always use my card if there's something that I want to buy while I'm out and about. I've got $10 in there right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cap that at a hundred. So I'll add 90. Okay. So that leaves me with, um, $233. Actually, let me not put that in yet. Um, so $233 left over. So as I was saying before, um, in regards to like the saving challenges, what I wanted to do was, um, round that off to a zero or a five. So I'm going to put 230 towards debt and then challenge will get savings challenges. will get $3 plus whatever I have left over from my wallet. So that'll be the seven. So my total, um, well, so the total cash that I'll be taking out will be the 963. But if we take the 79 out for taxes, my total cash that you see here is 884. So yeah, my 884 plus the 569 equals my total of the 1453. Um, so I'm not going to do like a denomination breakdown. Um, I probably will. You haven't seen this yet. I did get some happy mail. This is from Sincerely Roxy on um, Etsy. Um, I, that video will come out at some point in the future cause I did get a bunch more, um, you know, a few other products that she sells. Um, but this is nice and, and laminated so I can use it over and over again. I'm not going to do this probably until right before I go to the bank, either the night before, um, or the morning of just in case anything changes. So that is my breakdown. <laughs> um, let me just take a look and see if there was anything else that I wanted to uh, talk about. Um, nope, I think that's it. <laughs> and that was a lot, and that's enough, right? <laughs> so uh, let me know what you think of the, uh, the breakdown. And... Um, I will have probably another, well, I'll have this and that video out tomorrow, and then I'll probably, um, I don't know if I'll have another video out on Friday or Saturday, maybe, um, but more to come. Let me know what you think of the name change information, um, or, you know, that I went over as well, because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, you know, kind of take things in a new avenue.
But um, please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye for now. <laughs>